Hello there, my name is Benjamin and thank you so much for joining me in the studios of Blabend Solutions. Again, I've come your way with another exciting video tutorial on how to design a church flyer. But before I begin, let me take this opportunity to welcome you to the channel. If this is your first time of being in here, this is Blabend Solutions and currently we are into the production of graphic design video tutorials. So if you think videos of this nature will be of great help to you, then I encourage you to hit the subscribe button and also making sure to check the bell icon to all so as to be the first person to be notified whenever I release new videos. Do well to also like, share and leave your thoughts in the comment box below. If you are already a part of this team, thank you so much for showing up once again. So having nothing to say again, let's jump right into the tutorials. I hope you enjoy. Welcome to Photoshop. So to begin, first of all, we need to create our working space. Okay, so file, go to file, click on new. And in here, let's name this church flyer. Okay, so when you come to the size, forget this size. Okay, this will be will be a custom size. So we will be working in pixels, all right? So the width will be 400 pixels, sorry, 800 pixels, right? and the height will be 480 pixels so that is the size that i am choosing i don't know the size you will be choosing but go ahead and choose any size that you think will best suit the flyer that you want to design okay so when we are done in here the resolution is set to 300 pixels color mode is rgb and i think everything is okay in here so let's click okay when we are done just a quick one these are the resources that i will be working with okay currently it's only one that is showing i don't know why the others are not showing but you'll get to see them soon so i'm going to import this hold and drag this onto the photoshop application in here and i have this nicely like this so i'm going to be resizing this so holding your shift key i'm going to drag this up a bit and uh i guess something like this is okay but let me reduce the size okay so this is the image that the first image we currently be working on the next thing i'll do is i want to cut this part off okay so uh i'm not going to cut but before i'm going to select my rectangular my rectangle tool okay and i'm going to draw something like this something nice like this and I'm going to choose a fill color of let's say yellow not yellow but yellow I think yellow it's okay we're going to change this later on so with this full color I'm going to mark where I'm going to be cutting off okay so I think this place is okay so I'm going to select my rectangular marquee to but before then i need to rasterize this image okay so click on the layer right click on it and let's click rasterize layer so i'm going to draw with my rectangle mark you to in here this way and i'm going to delete so now press ctrl d on your keyboard to get rid of this moving ant ctrl d and we've gotten rid of that ant so what next let's quickly work on the rectangle bar in here so i'm going to change the color to a golden color and with the hexa code i have a hexa code of i will be applying a, a noise filter effect onto this rectangle bar so come to the filter tab and let's choose noise okay let's add noise to it it says the layer must be rasterized before so proceed by clicking ok and i think this is okay so mine is 25.98 percent so i like this click ok and uh, the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to create an environment where i'm going to place the pictures of my guest speakers so to do that let me quickly run through that and i'll get back to you guys shortly
all right guys welcome back so now we've created the environment or the space where we would place our guest speakers so now that we are done with this let me quickly do the importation of our guest speakers and i'll get back to you guys shortly Alright, so now that we are done with the importation of our guest speakers, what we are going to do next is we are going to now begin with the typing. So the theme of this program is breaking through, that is breaking through and enough is enough. So we are breaking through, enough is enough. So I'm going to start doing the typing. I might be tempted to fast forward this. So as to save time so pardon me if i do that all right so let's quickly begin so with your type 2 selected we can do the typing all right Alright guys, welcome back. We are not yet done with the typing. We are still in, in it. So, but before I would want to cut this thing off beneath here. So let me quickly do that. I'm going to rasterize this layer by right clicking the layer and choose rasterize. Then here I'll select my rectangle mark key to then I'm going to draw a line beneath here this way. And now I can delete this. By pressing Ctrl D, I get rid of the moving ant there. And I have something this way. Okay. I'm going to draw an, another rectangle marquee. Sorry, rectangle 2. I'm going to draw a shape here this way. And I'm going to have this in here. Let me select this color for the meantime. And we will work on that later on. Alright, so I'm going to press Ctrl T. And I'm going to reduce the size of this. A bit and I'm going to shift this down here this way wow. and I'm going to type I'm going to type as in the date and time then the venue all right so let me quickly do the typing by pressing my type 2 so the date is Alright, and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select my um, my poly polygonal lasso tool, and in here I'm going to select the polygonal lasso tool. I'm going to rasterize this very rectangle tool in here, or the shape rectangle shape. I'm going to rasterize this so that I can work with it. So I'm going to click with my polygonal lasso tool, and I'm going to select something this way and there you go select your gradient tool in here not your gradient but your paint bucket tool and i'm going to change the color to the golden color that i have in here so something this way and click ok so now i'm just going to paint in here so you can see i have two colors in here so 
so that is it press ctrl d to deselect and i have something like this i'm going to drag this out a bit so i'm going to press ctrl j to duplicate the friday and i'm going to retype something as in the time 9 30 a.m to 1 p.m So let me see if I can change the size for this to something. Code bold. All right. All right. So I like this. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to retype them. Control J in the yellow part. Let's change the color to something darker. That's black. And with this, I'm going to change the Friday to the venue of the program. So let me say um, National Conference. So let me do some small changes, slicing this here. All right, guys. So let me do the final touches in here, and so I'm going to shift this. Sorry, Control Z. I'm going to shift this up a bit this way and with my I want to ship this one also this way and maybe I'll have the option to type in something in here so let me quickly type some I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to put maybe where we can find it so uh, we can get this at uh, Osu <laughs> Oxford speak well so I'm going to continue with the typing. I'm, I'm going to duplicate this Calvary Baptist Church Control J, and I'm going to ship this beneath here. I like how it is. So I'm going to type purchase ticket at. So let me add it. Purchase tickets at Calvary. Baptist Church, right? And then let me add dot org. So I'm going to ship this in here this way with the breaking through. I like how it is, but how about me adding a shadow to it and let's see how it, lo it looks like. Okay, let me quickly add a shadow so to do that i'll select the breaking through come to the sorry come to the add layer style then i'm going to add or let me say drop shadow and it's, it's, it's not looking perfect but let me why let me add the drop shadow to only through and let's see what happens so add layer style in here let's drop shadow and let's see well i think i like this i like this so let me spread this a bit okay so i think this is okay and uh let me shift that enough it's enough Bit down a bit so we can see what we have there or oh, let me add a shadow to this as well and let's see if it also looks nice that, that isn't nice well <laughs> so I like how it looks like now 
so guys the the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my pen tool and I'm just going to draw something just to do something not anything or something like this and I'm going to change the background color to the color of this text and uh, just let's hit OK and control just hit enter that is it and uh, everything is coming up coming out nicely and uh, let's let's try to add a, a, a gradient ash fill here and let's see what happens so uh, I'm going to select a new layer on top of the background layer and I'm going to go into my gradient to right click to select the gradient to and I'm going to select something like this and let me change the color to this color right let's click OK and just hold and drag like this okay so I think something like this is okay then when you're done just click the move to and well this is looking nice even though I've omitted some things that need to be on this flyer but it is up to you to figure it out and put it on yours all right <laughs> so guys this brings us to the end of today's video tutorial I believe you've you've really learned something in here if you did uh, please do want to hit on the subscribe button if you haven't done so and also check the bell icon like the video share the video and also leave your thoughts in the comment box below until i come your way next time it is still blabbing solutions and thank you so much for watching